Well, hello there, folks. My name is Earl. This song goes out to all them their government types, you know, because y'all's a bunch of idiots. So, uh, it goes.
wrong with you? How could you be so stupid? I listen to you. What's the big idea? supposed to be some kind of joke? Well, I...
Sentimental, Sentimental murder in Mozambique Not enough of it The product of your ears is a crater Now there is more Listen to the big gorilla Sandbox, stop the paranoia. Not another pair of gutter socks, gun and bosia. The experimental washing machine is raining right my stadium. Listen to the pain go
Next on KNPW Radio, we have an exclusive interview with an anonymous gardener. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dumbass Motherfucker Show. I'm your host, Jack Mioff. Tonight, we have an anonymous gardener who is currently in the Witness Protection Program for Beep. He's here to give us some hot takes on fashion, politics, and blood sacrifice. So, Mr. Gardener, how are things going on in the garden? To be honest, Dick, they could be better. So, as you know, I'm in the Witness Protection Program. Me and uh, a couple of my associates got jumped by the police a few weeks ago. And uh, now I'm cooperating with the police. Well, you know, my, my boss Mario, he had in his possession about 60 kilos of petunia seeds. So he's really what they're after. And, uh, you know, now some may call me a rat or a tattletale, which is frankly totally unfounded. The way I see it, I'm not a rat. I'm simply letting my group down for my own selfish personal gain. It's completely different. So what sort of planning were you involved in? Uh, mostly annuals, you know, petunias, marigolds, touch me nuts, you know, you, you get the gist. We operated out of Mario's shed. He liked to uh, keep things close to home, you know. Well, I guess that'll be a part of his downfall. So, Mr. Ravioli, I mean Gardner, your uh, business relies heavily on the public transportation system. What are your thoughts on the increase in bus fares? Frankly, it's fucking moronic. You can't get from point goddamn A to B without these fucking bureaucrats squeezing every last penny from you. And what was the increase amount? Two cents! Uh, two cents? I know, it's fucking ridiculous, right? I had to burn down City Hall for this fucking bullshit, goddamn lousy, no good, dickless politicians. And you, you know, the thing about it is, is that it's all a conspiracy. Those white collar fuckers north of town don't want to sit next to gardeners on their way to work. I say, mind your own suburban fucking business, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> well, I can see you're very passionate about bus fares, Mr. Gardner. This is just like how we got busted. I, I shouldn't be telling you this, but I've had enough cheap wine to kill a donkey named Barry, if you know what I mean. But any, anyway, Rock and I were down in the Shore District, you know, selling some begonias to an old lady. When we got a call from Mario saying there was trouble up at the shed, we got down there and the cops had everything short of a tank and a Death Star. They were claiming we had a big supply of lavender somewhere in the house. So, did you? Of course we fucking didn't. They're perennials. Only real dickheads smuggle perennials. It's, it's, it's completely unprofessional. So, what are you saying? The evidence was fucking planted! Well, unfortunately, the interview has seemed to have been cut short. Anyway, how about that, Jim? To think that there are really garden lords operating under everyone's noses here in L.A. is unbelievable to me. Just fascinating. Yeah, I guess. You know, I was out driving around the other day, just cruising, and I saw a couple of hippies smoking outside a 7-Eleven. Where is this going? And, you know, you know me. Normally I'm not a very confrontational guy, but I said, hey, these vagrants shouldn't be panhandling like that. So I hopped out of my Miata, and I started walking up to them, but they jumped in their van before I could give them a piece of my mind. So, well, I decided to forget it and walk back to my car. And I took a look at it, and I thought, I could use a car wash. So I got into the line, and of course everyone needs premium soap, and I stood there for about 15 minutes, and I decided, it can wait another week. Well, now I'm back on the road. Oh, get out with it! Jeez. I guess to make a long story short, after about 12 hours of doing speed, with lots of women named Tammy at Kyle's house, I finally decided, hey, my wife's probably not going to be very happy about this. So, anyways, as always, thanks to Jack Mioff for the exclusive interview with an anonymous gardener. This is KNPW Radio, bringing you the hottest hits of the 30s. Up next is what the kids are calling a, uh, jungle jam.
Okay, who's in charge of the fucking bleeping here? Was it fucking you, Stu? I knew it. You fucking fired. We can't have some degenerate, degenerate gardener on this channel cussing like a sailor. Whose idea was to bring the bum on anyway? Well, it was fucking you, Alan. I know. Look at your fucking smug face. You bastard. You're fucking fired too.